All right, we're on to page 101, and it carries over from page 100. So it says, a constitution or rules of government and ask Congress to be admitted as a state. In 1803, Ohio became the first state from the Northwest Territory. It's a big deal. You're going to want to remember that, right? Even though it's not one of the blue things, that's an important detail, right? To be added to the United States of America, right? They were the first state in 1803 from the Northwest Territory. We got it. Four other full states were added later. Look at the map on page 100 to find out what they were, right? So here's the map, and you know what they are, right? They're right there. Wisconsin, Michigan, Illinois, Indiana, and Ohio. Guaranteed freedoms. Settlers in the Northwest Territory had the same rights or freedoms as other citizens of the United States. They had freedom of speech, the right to worship as they pleased, and the right to, to a trial by jury. This is the right for a person accused of a crime to be judged by people in the community. <clears throat> the Northwest Ordinance also for, forbids slavery in the territory. Slavery is the practice of making one person the property of another. At that time, many other states and territories allowed slavery. Why it matters. The Northwest Ordinance would continue to affect the future of our state and country. Forbidding slavery in the Northwest Territory made a big difference in the way Ohioans thought. In time, the issue of slavery divided the nation. All right, we're going to sum it up real quick. The Land Ordinance of 1785 set up a system for surveying and selling the land to settlers. Okay, that's the Land Ordinance. The Northwest Ordinance set up a government for the Northwest Territory, guaranteed rights to the people, and set up a way to form states. Right? Okay. All right, so there you have it. There's page 101 in the books.